Hey guys, this is a quick video to explain how to export a scene or an object from Crocodile 3D into uh, Unity. We're working with Crocodile 3D 1.82 and with Unity 2023-25, but the process should be similar uh, unless you're using a really old version of Unity. Anyway, so you got your scene, uh, everything is set up and you want to export that scene uh, and import it properly into Unity. What you're gonna do is you're gonna select File, Export Scene. Uh, by default, everything is gonna be selected. It's gonna take into account the hierarchy. Uh, you're gonna select File Format OBJ, and uh, the standard settings that you're gonna find in here are usually fine. There's no reason to change those. And then you are going to hit export, uh, simple as that. Next, you're going to create, ideally, I would recommend a folder in here, and I'm gonna name this uh, export video, just you know, so we know where I saved this. And you're gonna give it a name. In this case, I'm gonna name it Vineyard. Then you're going to find the folder uh, that you've created, the file inset folder uh, with all the textures which have been named according to the prefix that you've given in the export window, which should just be texture by default. And you're gonna have a, a material file and a object file. You're not gonna need a material file, but we'll get there in a second. Next, you're gonna open up your Unity project. I have a standard sample scene, nothing fancy. And you're going to be dragging all of those things into your project. You can skip the material file, it's not necessary. Uh, we're gonna drag it into our uh, assets. And if we take our vineyard model, I'm just gonna drag that in here. You can see that it is currently untextured. All you're seeing is, you know, the vertices and this gray model. Uh, if you look under the individual items, uh, you will see that they have materials, but you can't edit those. They are grayed out. That's no problem. Uh, you're going to select the model in your assets view, and you're going to extract the materials. Uh, you can also drag materials onto that model that you've created in Unity, but for in this case, we're going to just extract them. Uh, have this window in your assets view. I recommend uh, creating a folder called materials. Select folder, and inside this materials folder, you're gonna have all of the materials that belong to this model, and they're all correctly assigned. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drag the texture files onto the materials. So um, in this case, I have five different textures. Uh, you might only have one texture, which is gonna make this all a little bit easier. But essentially, you're going to drag them onto the albedo slot right over here. And if you have only one texture file, you can also just select all of these and then drag it on the, to the albedo and it will apply to all of them. Okay, now we have applied all the textures to the varying materials, but you can see there are still some issues in that A, the textures are blurry, and B, uh, that transparent textures are not showing up correctly. So the first thing we're going to address is that textures are not showing up nice and crisp how you would like them to look, and rather blurry, and the reason for that is the filtering. To take care of that issue, if this is something you want to do, you're going to go and do that under the texture import settings. For that, you select your textures. I'm gonna do that with all six of my textures. And you're going to go down under filter mode, where it by default says bilinear, and you're going to go to point mode, no filter. And then you're going to apply this and as you can already tell, you get that nice crisp look that you want with uh, pixel art. If you have transparent textures, what you want to do is you want to select alpha is transparency. Make sure that alpha source says input texture alpha. Uh, this comes into play when you're using PNGs that are transparent. And as you can see, we're not quite there yet. These textures are supposed to be transparent. So we're gonna need to select those particular textures. So we need to select those particular materials. In this case, this is the leaves material that I have. And you're going to select cutout. And once you have selected cutout, the textures should be displaying correctly. And this is pretty much how you import from Crocodile 3D into Unity. And if you have questions about this, you can drop in the Crocodile 3D Discord server, which I'm going to link in the description below. I hope this helped and thank you for watching.